guys, how are you doing? Today we will continue our conversation about the last blockchain solutions appeared on the market. And our today topic is Everest and their slogan is Elevating Humanity. So as usual guys, we need to recognize what does it mean Everest and will this platform be useful for us in our everyday life. So let's go. And as usual guys, let's start from the very beginning. And uh, I actually want to notice that I watched my previous video and I had a feeling that I'm reading something. I mean, I'm reading a text, but actually guys, I'm reading nothing at all. I'm just telling you my words and uh, you could just watch that I have nothing at all here. Nothing, only my head and my voice and my words. So, but okay, I digress a little. Now let's discuss Everest. The thing is that the developers of this platform wants to make this platform centralized. Actually, they wrote here that it's a decentralized platform, but it's false, guys. This platform is going to be centralized, and I will tell you why. But first of all, let's talk about the features of this platform. Just uh, look at the pen. So here, guys, you can easily transfer your money from anywhere to anywhere. So it doesn't matter where I situated. In uh, Tokyo or in Beijing, you can transfer your money into Brazil, for example, or something like this. So uh, it's a really easy and cost-effective way to send your money from one point to another point. With a blockchain basement, it is possible now. The next is go in microfinance, and I think it's all clear in this area. So this platform will give you a chance to borrow a money. So it's not a new feature, so let's go on. Their new feature is ID verification, and uh, that is why this platform is not more decentralized. Because you know, the main thing of the blockchain is to make anonymous, transparent, and fast transactions. That is the main thing and the main idea of the blockchain basement. And the guys want to make uh, this platform centralized by adding ID verification. And on the other hand, I vote for this, but on the other hand, I'm not voting for this. And uh, I try to explain you why. On the one hand, uh, ID verification will help the blockchain's penetration in the financial world and in our real life. But on the other hand, it is going across with the main concept of the blockchain. So it is difficult to speak about it now, but anyway, it will help maybe to make blockchain solutions more popular. And uh, some other features, guys, you can find on the screen, like medical records. So this platform will hold all your medical doc documents or something like this. And this platform can collect some documents and biometrically signed contracts. And the thing is that users can use this platform without any devices. It's kind of a new feature and uh, they implemented this feature into this platform. So guys, uh, now let's go on. Here, guys, you can find some current market problems. Please uh, follow the pen. And uh, here they are. I think you can scrutinize it solely. So let's go on. And here, guys, you can find some information how this platform will solve these problems. So let's start one by one. The first one is device free identity verification. I already told you about it. So the main thing is that users don't more need devices. Everything will be based here, every biometric data and so on. And uh, this platform allows anyone and anywhere to enroll in the platform. And you can find this statement here. Another thing is seamless value transfer. It's not a secret that a blockchain basement can provide you fully transparency, security and immutability of your data. Fees in this platform will be low and you could find the approvals here in the institutional efficiency. Please uh, look at the pen. Reduced transfer and data storage fees will allow institutional growth in emerging nations. And I also want to note that if you are receiving the money, you will not pay commissions. And I think it's all clear. But if you are sending money, you will pay the commission of uh, this chain. 
And I also think that it is clear for everybody because it's a blockchain solution. That is why we can't forget about the um, fees. So guys, let's go on. And we finally came to the phrase digital identity on the blockchain is a gateway to all other use cases. Yes, I also think like so, but on the other hand, this platform is not decentralized. For example, in the beginning of the page, you can find the information, please uh, follow the pen that this platform is decentralized but actually it's not because here you can find identities and the other fact i can show you in the bottom of their website so guys please pay attention 37 and half percent of estimated tokens will go directly to team members founders board members and advisors and please pay attention less than 38% will go to seed, pre-sale and bounty. That means that developers want to control this platform. They want to manage this platform. And that is why a plenty of estimated tokens will be in the hands of developers, founders, board members and advisors. That means that this platform is not fully decentralized. You can take it from me because I have made reviews about more than 285 different projects and uh, these features can show us that this platform is not more decentralized and now guys we came to the three principles of everest i just will read it so all individuals can be included without a smart device then is going the individual will own and control their identity. It's all clear. And the final is identity information will be shared selectively and be resilient against attack. So guys, let's wait and see how this platform will work our life. And now we came to their project. So here guys, you can find different projects provided by this application. So the first one is the Identity Network Foundation. I will not explain you what is it because I think uh, it's all clear for you. Another solution is uh, called EverID, decentralized identity platform, but as uh, we noticed, this platform is not decentralized. Other wallet supports multiple currencies and document storage. It's really cool because I uh, nowadays we need uh, wallets with um, different uh, cryptocurrencies because uh, they are useful and um, there is no more need to have a lot of wallets and uh, ever chain so this is an exchange by everest and this is it and finally guys let's talk about the tokens and actually i want to notice that i haven't found any mentions in the famous trading agencies like ico bench track ICO, ICO marks, and I found only one statement in the ICO holder, no rating at all, and please pay attention to the statistics, activity very low, Twitter low, tweets very low, Telegram low, Alexa very low, only videos rating is very high, and that is it. So guys, it's it's up to you to participate or not everything is always up to you as usual but i just want to notice that um, always try to make your a full analysis before investing some money into the iso because i don't want you to lose the money because i lost some money in uh, scam isos and i just want you to be careful so guys, uh, this platform has got its own token and the primary token inside this platform is ID token. And here you can find some use cases of ID tokens. And actually you can use a white paper to learn more about the tokens because as usual, they have got something about it. 23rd page, so we can use it together. But if I'm not mistaken, there is no full information about the tokens so we will not mention it and uh, let's wait and see when um, we can find this application this platform in the famous rating agencies because for me it's a good indicator and uh, as usual guys you can find a lot more interesting information listed in the social networks and in the social media 
And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe on our channel and give us a thumbs up. But that is all for now. Stay classy. Catch you later.